Project Muse. Project Muse has several different sources, including ebooks, open access items, full text journal articles, and several resources that are from not for profit publishers. Project Muse is an ideal database for humanities and social sciences. Project Muse, unlike other databases, starts with a basic search. In order to get to the advanced search, you want to run any search. Here you can see on the left hand side that we're able to uh, adjust our search terms. We can split them up. We can make some adjustments on our Boolean operators. And here we can also take a look at our different filters like access, content type, books, articles, reviews, publishers, series, journal, all sorts of different ones. A couple to mention, a couple to note our language, so if you only read certain languages, you might want to filter that down, and publication year. So if you're looking for something very current or something published in the last few years, this is an option for you. So starting with the top, access. You want to consider the access and leave it in all content if you have time to do your research. If you have an assignment due tomorrow, you definitely want to go ahead and take a look at the only content I have access to because there's a couple there's an option to request items we don't have so for example uh, this first result here is not available to the UTEP library we are not subscribed to it but through the interlibrary loan service they can request the copy from other libraries to be loaned to you or send you a digital copy if it's a short article and you'll be able to read it but it does take time to arrive which means if you don't have time to wait you want to use that only content I have access to to narrow it down and remove these so once you do that you'll only have the options and the materials available from such items as open access or the ones that we are already subscribed to. And so there's some different options here, like these here, you can see that um, the material is available to view, but some material can be available to download, such as this one here. So I can straight download from this page here, or I can go ahead and open it up and download from here, as well as I can view the citation. Viewing the citation is easy and getting a copy of it is easy as well. The only thing we want you to make sure is you double check this citation. No matter whether a database warns you or not, you should always double check the citation for any database. You can also go back and narrow it down by what kind of source you are looking for. Whether you're looking for books or articles or even reviews. If your professor has told you to not submit any sort of reviews, you want to make sure you filter those out. So we always recommend to go ahead and stick with articles or go ahead and take a look at books. So for example, here we can narrow it down to articles and it's going to narrow it down to just all the articles we have access to because we still have the only content I have access to selected. If you need assistance, please don't hesitate in contacting us at the numbers on the screen or ask us at libanswers.utep.edu.